Okay, welcome to the Nourish Kitchen. My name is Winona Benson. I wanted to talk to you today about a cheese alternative. So sometimes if we're dealing with a lot of inflammation in the body and you're looking to change your diet, one of the things that is recommended to take out would be dairy. And a lot of times people are very sad for this because they miss their cheese. But I wanted to show you an option that you can make at home in just a few minutes time um, out of macadamia nuts. So this could be done with cashews as well, but this particular one is made from macadamia nuts. So there was a little bit of prep that went on ahead of time, and I'm just gonna walk you through the ingredients that we're gonna be using for this recipe. Um, the first thing are just raw macadamia nuts, unsalted, um, not roasted, um, raw. And they have been soaked in boiling water. I poured boiling water on there, and we soaked them for about an hour and they're ready to go. We've also got some sea salt, some black pepper, and nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast is a really um, unique ingredient in that it is a fermented yeast loaded in vitamin B12, but it, is, it doesn't cause any upset where other yeast might in the body. It doesn't affect candida, um, and it has this cheesy flavor. So it is kind of a vegan cheat for a nice cheesy flavor. We're also gonna be adding in for, um, with the nutritional yeast, a little bit of garlic powder for flavor, and then just a touch, about a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. And so that's gonna give us a nice flavor. Once we're going with the cheese and we're creating the cheese, we're gonna be adding in some fresh herbs. So I've got some cilantro here, I've got some fresh parsley, and I've also got some um, dried chives. And so all of these, are just great options to be using to flavor the cheese with. So you will need a food processor. <laughs> you can do this in a blender, but a food processor really does work better for this. And you're going to need something to strain your macadamia nuts. Um, I've got a colander here. And I'm also gonna show you another technique that you can do afterwards where we're gonna use the actual strainer um, and you can even get more moisture out of the cheese to even get a firmer cheese that could be sliced. But today we're gonna to be making something that's more like a cream cheese, it's a spreadable cheese, terrific with crackers um, for a crudite platter for the holidays. That's also a nice option. So very first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take the macadamia nuts that have been soaking and just go ahead and drain the water right off of them. And these will go right into the food processor. I'm using a flat blade in the food processor. And then with this, we're gonna be adding in our nutritional yeast. I'm gonna have two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And we have a teaspoon of garlic powder. I do like to use powder with this as opposed to whole garlic. And then we're gonna be doing a, about a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt with this. I've got measured out here a half a cup of water. We'll be using about a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup. So we're gonna start with just a fourth of a cup of water, adding that into the mix and then adding more water as we need to get the consistency that we desire. The last thing that we need is lemon. So we need about two tablespoons of lemon. And I will say that generally, when you're looking at um, lemon and limes, one um, large uh, lemon or lime will produce about two tablespoons of juice. And that's what we need for this recipe. So I'll be cutting off the ends. And whatever tool you have is fantastic. I've got this great little citrus juicer. And I like to do this, I'm, I'm a measurer, and I think when you're starting off cooking, measuring is a great way to do things because um, if you add uh, too much and you're not quite sure how to correct the recipe, um, it's much easier to add something in as opposed to taking something out. So I'm gonna be using my liquid measuring cup here, and I wanna get about two tablespoons. So it's almost always spot on. That's about one tablespoon. So what the lemon is great for is it gives it that tangy flavor. So when we're looking 
Um, for a cheese flavor, we want, of course, the cheesy flavor, but we also want the tang. And that's what the lemon provides for this recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and add that lemon right in there. And then, it's gonna make a little bit of noise, so don't be afraid of that. Um, and we're gonna process this until it is nice and smooth. You're gonna get this going and then occasionally you're gonna be wiping down the sides. And this is where I'm gonna add in about a fourth of a cup of water at this point. And it's, it's grabbing the nuts really nicely here and we're gonna be able to see that it's gonna to start to create a nice creamy mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and stop and just scrape down the sides, to keep it mixing consistently. And again, we're going for a cheese, a cream cheese texture here. So just watch your texture, and you wanna make sure those nuts are, um, that they're broken down really nicely. And then we're going to be um, adding just water as you need it for the recipe. Just keep your eyes on the fries. I'll be adding all of that in there. So that was a full half of a cup of water for that recipe. Blending really nicely now. One more scrape down on the sides. So this cheese can be prepared and served right away, but you also could put this in the refrigerator for several hours and it will firm up more as it cools off. Really delightful flavor that's, I can smell the cheese flavor in here. Um, and again, what we're looking for is that cream cheese texture. This is a good, this is a good point at this, at this point. And when you're in the kitchen, taste your food, make sure it's seasoned how you like it. It's a good point here to add more nutritional yeast if you want a little bit more cheesy flavor or to add a little bit more salt and pepper. Mm, that's delicious. I am gonna add a little bit more nutritional yeast. There was two tablespoons in there. And I think I'll probably add just about another tablespoon just to give it just a little bit more flavor. Optional, taste and see what you like. So this is gonna work, I'm gonna say for about another minute in here to completely break down the nuts so that you don't have any of the texture. We want it to be nice and smooth. In the meantime, you can go ahead and prep some vegetables that you want to be serving with this. So I brought some carrots here, nice variety of colors. Any, any vegetables are great for crudite. If you're going to do zucchini, you can do carrots. You could do roasted vegetables for this. They'd all be wonderful. Bell peppers. But I just love these beautiful colors of these fresh carrots. I'm going to do a diagonal cut on these guys. Anytime you can add color to your plate, you're adding nutrients, which is fantastic. So purple, lots of antioxidants, good for heart health. That orange tells us it's got beta carotene as well as the yellows. These are good for your hair, your skin, your eyes. And they're just beautiful. Variety. All right, that looks beautiful.
I love to have something as simple as this for the holidays where you can just put things together quite simply. All these beautiful colors of the carrots. Easy for dipping. Just like an option, um, like a healthy option instead of chips, you can use the carrot chips like this. And we'll put our cup in the center. Now the last thing that we want to add in this before we put everything together is we want to add some of our herbs in here. So we have an herb cheese. So I'm going to add a little bit of the chives. Let's go ahead and put those right in there. And then you can decide how you want things to be flavored. If you want things to be flavored with parsley or cilantro, I'm going to add some parsley into this one. I think that's just a nice combination. And really, you can add them all. It doesn't really matter. Green onions would also be quite delicious in here. I'm gonna give it one more little pinch of salt and a little bit more pepper. Last mix. is how simple you can make a delicious macadamia nut cheese. So we've got this lovely crudite platter with our carrot chips and our cheese. Now I'm going to give you one more tip on this. If you wanted to make a hard cheese, one thing that you could do as opposed to serving it immediately would be to put it into a cheese bag, a mesh bag, or if you don't have that, you can use a very fine mesh strainer and you would just transfer this carefully right into that mesh strainer and you can cover this with a light cloth let it sit over uh, overnight in the refrigerator and any uh, additional liquid will will come right through the mesh strainer and it will get hard or harder and you'll be able to create a ball out of that and it was something that could be sliced. Um, it's a lot of times during the holidays you can create a ball and you'll, you can roll it in more um, of your garnishes and then slice it and it's just, it just makes for a beautiful um, plate. So those are two different options for you to create different textures. but. A really lovely way to have an alternative for cheese. And so I hope you enjoyed that recipe and thank you for joining me in the Nourish Kitchen.